what's up. I appreciate it. What I'm going to speak on is the thing that's on my mind the most. You know what I'm saying? The thing that we all got to deal with every day, but don't really know. The industry. The industry. Man, it's not the same. It doesn't have to do with talent. It's about playing the game. The industry. Real niggas is dying to get in. The industry. Just to find they don't fit in. The industry ain't what it used to be. The industry is trying to control the way you MC. They want you to dress like this and talk like that. But I'm going to dress like this and talk with the bat. The industry. Got your word meaning nothing. The industry. Fuck what you heard because he's bluffing. The industry. Money. Bitches. Hate. But I dare you to try to take a fucking thing off my plate. The industry like, wait. But in the streets, we like, get them. <laughs> 17 up in that thing. Get them sleeping. Hit them. Soul take a I'm soul snatchers. Bugs life. Just my Bugs life. That last poem he did on the industry. Because he spoke out against the crooks and the criminals. The witches and the warlocks. The abomination of the industry okay he spoke out against satan you know the most high um you know all of this brotherhood and freemasonry is what it boils down to oto the knights templar you know the the hollywood this is what their corruption is is full of this is what their cauldron pot is mixed with you know harlotry um sacrifices and um you know a lot of witchcraft a lot of lot of witchcraft from the higher up you know uh satan is the god of the air so he runs the airways which is the media which is coming from Hollywood and they get all of their insight all of their designs and ideas and critiques from uh, Europe European agriculture you know Europe Paris France you know this is where they get their ideas from okay and guess what what hollywood has a one-way ticket straight to hell y'all i just want to let you know i just want to get some commentary if you look at the interview with russell simmons and uh it was some other people but they they when they uh what's that one warlock name leon what's his name leon or whatever but you know clive barker or or whatever his name is all of them what's the black one the black dude name but all of them are are are, are directors and producers high up in the industry that are performing these rituals you know these these things on the product the product is these rappers is our, our black men and women you know going out murder by numbers you know going out year by year it's, it's so rapid because they're a product they're seen as a number they're seen as a soul given to Satan, collected. This has nothing to do with, oh, his legacy, what he did. You see how they tarnished his legacy? You see how, and, and do you notice it's a pattern, church, and this is for the spiritual. If you're not spiritual, click click off my um, video because this is not for you. You won't understand because you have the veil over you and your your eyes are, are blind. You can't see. Okay, this is for the spiritual enlightened, the real illuminated, God-fearing people of the Most High, Abba Father, El Shaddai. Okay, and I just want to let you know that look at from when he first got into the industry, he didn't know. You you notice? Okay, wait. Let me say this. Remember at the end, he spoke out against against the industry. He was not a part of it. He was not Baphomet. You know, he, he, you know, he, he said he didn't want no 
uh phallus up his butt no penis up his butt excuse my friends i'm just trying to find a nice term to talk about the male genital part you know because this is part of a ritual when you get into the industry you know that they listen to what noriega says where he says there's doors you know there's a choice you have to make um there's two doors you know you can go to the the, the go through the door on the left or you can go to the one on the right okay so they give you choices in the industry but it's all trickery it's like you got to take something so if you take that deal you take that contract okay it's after that it is it's blood like you know they won't let up they won't let up they're gonna get theirs in the beginning and the end they are the enforcers okay and uh satan has his minions you know it's a hierarchy dealing with satan you know satan he's the prince he's the head you know and then he has his minions his demons uh you know the nephilim uh that are down below him beneath him and you know what most of the time they all get along with each other because they just want to house a human inhabitant they're jealous okay these demons are jealous and they're bloodthirsty and what i'm trying to say if you can read between the lines and how I'm talking, church, I'm speaking parable here that it all boils up and it all boils down to Satan. OK, you cannot serve two masters. You either serve one or the other. God, the most high or mammon. Mammon is wealth and money and riches. The materialistic things that Satan gives you here on this earth in order to serve him. You know, hey, if you serve me, if you come with me, just like how God, Jesus was tempted in in the wilderness for those 40 days. And he had to tell Satan to get behind him and flee because he is the alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Man, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Spirit, church. This is a PSA. Don't be fascinated. You know, for 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 manly, you know, to think like from human to human, you know, having having a heart, you know, uh DMX, you love them as a person because you know that his spirit was good is good but it was tarnished see dmx had demons that were put on him maybe from childhood we know that you know natural demons you know passed on from genealogy you know from your parents parents that's how uh demons are passed on they call familiar spirits church okay you know uh we suffer with those things but what i'm trying to say is with all the trouble and the turmoil that that he went through just like us you know, just living life because we're in a fallen world. Okay, you go through things. Remember, he was an abandoned when he was chi- when he was a child. He was he what, what was that? Something about he was thrown out on a street corner with his dog or some something, something like that. You guys could c- correct me in the comments if you like. But it, that's just the backstory. But on the say is what I'm saying is see how he was hurt and injured, and then you know Satan he roams uh to and fro you know throughout the earth so looking for seeking whom he may devour okay so dmx was found just like the backstory about lady gaga what happened to her y'all know that backstory okay that's another story but i'm just making an example because it's a it's a trail here it's a spiritual trail that i'm speaking here okay for you guys to listen to and what i'm trying to say is satan is floating you know uh he he's going you know to and from the earth you know seeking whom he may devour and um he he finds people he finds victims okay hey i know what they're searching for because satan is smart he knows he knows certain things he doesn't know everything okay let's not give him all the credit but he does have power and so what i'm trying to say is for a time okay so let's get that correct but at the same time church um there's influences because of the other disembodied spirits that are under him millions and millions and zillions i can't even count how many you know that's why we're in spiritual warfare you know in the heavenlies and here on earth you know it's a war going on a spiritual 
invisible battle that you cannot see but this is the influences of the world the watchers you know the nephilim they're here church just like in the days of noah we are at the end so a lot of things in revelation if you pay attention and you read your bible church is coming to pass okay read revelations uh 11 i believe okay and you will see what I'm talking about. So on the say back to DMX is, you know, the, him getting hooked up with the industry, which is Satan, the devil. Okay. Because remember, um, the devil before he fell, you know, Lucifer before he, he fell, he, he was, you know, he was the, he was the one in music. You know, he was the angel of, of, of the, the ministry of music. So on to say, you know how they say your works follow you? You know, read that scripture about your works do follow you. Okay. And I'm jumping here and there, but follow me. What I'm trying to say is DMX was greeted by the devil. Okay. And he shook hands with him. And he did some things with him. He danced with him. Okay, and whatever you bind in heaven, you can bind in earth. Whatever you loose in heaven, you can loose in earth. Okay, so your your mouth is powerful. The words that we speak. Okay, that's why it's by hearing the word, and the word you know, hearing the word, and the word is God, the truth. When you heard the gospel, you knew that it was it was the truth and that it was God. So you spoke it into existence. That's why life and death is in the power of the tongue. And when you're on earth and you get met by these devils and they trick you and you sign these contracts written in blood verbally, you can speak the word. And it be bound in heaven and earth. Okay? Because God has given us that authority. And anyone knowing the truth of God, or sometimes not even knowing, you speak word curses on yourself. And you also tie yourself up in the spiritual realm without knowing. And this is the trickery of the devil because he knows what you don't know. Okay, he knows who you are, saints. He knows who you are in the heavenly realm, in, in, in the kingdom. He knows you're God's child. And he knows he's not the head. He is the tail. The serpent, the serpent seed. So with that being said, also, man, DMX. He might have found out later that, okay, I was going the wrong way and I'm going to rebel against the enemy. But at the same time, he didn't have the Holy Host encamped around about him to keep him in all his ways. Because you have to denounce these things, church. You have to renounce these things. You have to cast these things down to the pits of hell. You have to reject and rebuke these things. You have to repent confess and repent wholeheartedly you have to apologize you have to tell the most high that you are sorry for everything that you've done witchcraft and all from the first to the fourth generation it might be farther and you have to confess and repent for the industry the baphomet industry and whatever else demons that are linked up under that hierarchy Okay, because it's a Luciferian industry. It is a Kabbalah industry. It is a sorcery magician industry. It is highly weird. It is built and founded on magic, sorcery, witches, warlocks, abomination all of these things adultery fornication um 
man, I don't even have my notes in front of me, you guys. I'm just speaking out the head, speaking through my spirit and, and, and letting the Lord just, just give words of knowledge. Please, Lord, speak through me, Holy Spirit, and give words of knowledge to the church, Father God, because this is a PSA. We love DMX. God bless him. But, you know, people got a one-way ticket to hell because... You know, when you have the wrong people around you because you're still in the industry, because you're still in Hollywood, you don't have a covering. Your covering is Satan. So when your covering is Satan, no matter what, it's going to come to an end because he has a time set for you. And yes, God, Jesus Christ does have the last say so. But you know what? God does give you over to your desires. Eventually, you are given over to your desires, to the enemy. Okay, because there's rules and regulation. God is the, our God is the God of order. He is a mighty, mighty, majestical, supernatural, omnipresent, omnipotent, majestical high God and he is jealous and it's sad because people of God that have the spiritual eyeballs to see you know that it, it was his time coming that it, he was took out by the industry no no doubt about it I mean why is all our black men or all our rappers singers why is they all going out by heart attack drug abuse look at Whitney Houston look at her daughter um who else look at um Lil Peep and all of his uh all of them people on that song all them rappers look at um What's his name? The Texas, uh, the one that got shot down, executed on, on the freeway. It was a few of them. Look at, um, what's his name? N.W. Melly or whatever. Uh, murder on my mind. Yeah, okay, murder, 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 murder. It's demons in these regions. What what type of demons do you think possess Hollywood? What What region? You don't even know what part of region Hollywood is, okay? But in different regions, different hierarchies of demons inhabit that area and they have certain assignments that they are supposed to press into the atmosphere, okay? Because it's by airways, okay? So it's in the air. It's like the fog. Remember that movie, The Fog, y'all? Remember that old school? This is for people that's 35 plus, <laughs> Remember the old school movie? But they did make a remake for you 80s babies, okay? So so look that out. Look 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 that up, I mean. Check that out. But there was this movie called The Fog, y'all. And The Fog came in. And you, when The Fog, when you saw that fog coming from afar on that boat, that ship, you better got out of sight, out of mind. You hear me? Because once that fog hit, whatever it mysteriously was doing, it, but you was going to end up a gunner black. You was finna die. You was finna be dead. You was gonna be no more when that fog hit. And whatever hit is, um, way or, or, or ways of death that that fog was gonna give you is what you were going to receive. So back to what I was saying, man, y'all, he was tied up in the spirit. They had, they had DMX in a bottle. Okay, and look at his name. If you if you notice every rapper name, it stand for how they gonna go out. Look at uh Pop Smoke. Or what's his name? Pop Smoke or whatever. When they killed him, what they do? They popped them, right? They popped smoke. They they smoked them, right? And that's how he went out. Um, if you just you just look at all of these rappers, man. So DMX, I found out that uh, Earl Simmons, I found out that his name, uh, his stage name means, what did it mean? Dead man, dead man unknown, DMX, wow, dead man unknown. Now, we ain't going to get too much into that, but the, in the industry took that man out. You know that man had curses on him. He had witchcraft on him. 
Ain't no telling uh, what type of uh, rituals, because he went through rituals. Look at his video cover, I mean, his album covers with the blood, the blood ritual. A lot of them went through the, uh, being in the bathtub with the blood. And ain't no telling what they did behind closed doors, because they trick you getting up in the industry. They trick you. The white couch, uh, casting, and then look at the all of the people that he knew, his circle, and then look at all the people that he ran across. It's the Hunger's Game in Hollywood, y'all. I mean, it's kill or be killed. But they don't let you know because it's the one eye symbol. Remember, shh, you can't say nothing. So only the players in Hollywood playing them Hunger Games, they know what it is. Murder by numbers. Okay? It, 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 man, it, it was it was time for him to go. Cause they was doing all type of stuff to that man. Look at Kanye West. You if if, if, if you gotta look in their eyes, they dead. Like they they spirit. Like you know because they've been abused, not only physically but mentally. That mo, uh, that uh, MK Ultra they be doing to them. They be poking on these people. They be doing. They be uh, physically abusing these people. You ain't gonna know. I'm telling you, unless God give you revelation and illumination and tell you. So I'm telling you, saints, press in, ask for wisdom, knowledge, guidance. Um, pray for prophecy. That's the greatest thing you can pray for is prophecy. But ask the, ask, ask the Lord the Most High. Tell him you confess and repent. Tell him you want to be on his side, his side only. Tell him to help you not to be lukewarm. Ask Jesus to help you to... You know, help your unbelief. Pray for to always be in the right place at the right time. Pray for how to say, say, Lord, teach me how to pray and what to pray for. That's what you pray, saints. And you will find out. God will open your eyes and show you. DMX was taken out, y'all. You know, 50 years old. Come on now. There's so many dope fiends on the street. And he wasn't even, you know, I mean, I, I'm not saying he didn't abuse his body with dope and drugs. Of course he did. Because the industry, fools. Like, what you mean? Of course he did. The industry, they was already tampering with that man different type of ways. Mentally, be the be the, the spiritual battle, be in your mind. So, once they get to your mind, then, you know, man, they had hit. Man, they got killers in Hollywood. In that Illuminati. It's killers on the payroll. It's hunters, booty snatchers all day. And I'm not saying that happened to him. I'm just calling this out. I'm saying they came at him a different way. Look how Kanye came out. We was lied to. Look, they snatched him up so fast off them streets. And look, he ain't never been the same. I don't even believe that's Kanye. I, I say it's a clone. But now that's another story. So this is just a PSA. Uh, God willing this message reach so many people. So you guys can just reflect on what I'm saying. And, you know, read your prayers every day. You know, Psalms 23 and Matthew 6, 9 through 15. Okay. Um, your daily bread and the Lord's prayer. Um, because you need that. You need that for life. And you also need protection. Okay. And I, I'm just going to read something to you guys. Okay. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamped against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple for in a time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in a secret place excuse me in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me he shall set me up upon a rock and now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me therefore will i offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy i will sing yeah i will sing praises unto the lord hear o lord when i cry with my voice have mercy also upon me and answer me when thou said seek ye my face my heart said unto thee thy face lord will i seek hide not thy face from me put not thy servant away in anger thou hast been my help leave me not neither forsake me o god of my salvation when my father my my mother forsake me then the lord will take me up teach me thy way o lord and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies 
for false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty. I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord, in Jesus' name. Okay? So give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Okay, church? So you can be blessed. We are in a famine. We are in the last days. And the blood of the saints is, is crying out throughout the earth. Okay? And I just want to say, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. And also the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. And a lot of you guys should pray, you know, for the Lord, if you're in a situation that you can't get out of, that you wrapped up, that you bound up in the spirit by demons and devil, by demons and the devil, and, and by your addictions, and you guys know it, you know, turn, turn to Psalms 35 and, you know, ask the Lord to plead your cause. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation, thy deliverer. That's what salvation means. Deliverer. Let them be confounded and put to shame to seek, seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Listen to the scriptures, saints. Look what the Lord is saying. Look what the the the, the look what David is is pleading to the Lord. Let them be confounded and put to shame to seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as a shafe a shaft before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their ways be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them for without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Oh Lord, Lord have mercy. Pray for, you know, it is by grace that we are saved. You guys need to read the Ten Commandments. And, you know, do your best to follow those Ten Commandments. And we are not under law, but we are the law. Because Yahweh is law. And we are freed because we were bought and, and paid for by a price. And that is by Jesus' stripes. Y'all, that we are healed, that we are free. The bondsmen, y'all, Jesus, he died on Calvary. He died and rose three days and came back. He did that for the fallen world. Wow. Wow. This isn't a message. I just want to say. That I love you guys. God bless you. And, you know, quit giving homage to these stars. Because you will fall too. Because the only person that you should be, you know, God said don't make, you know, uh, you know, don't lean on to your own thinking or your own understanding. You know, get, get idol tree. You know, you need to renounce and denounce idol tree also. Vanity. All of that. Renounce that. Um, because filthy lucre. Look that up if y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Filthy lucre. That's spelled L-U-C-R-E. Hashtag Marona Prophecy. I have a lot of videos. Just little snippets. You know. Share, like, and subscribe. Also, quit hating. 
on the word because I noticed, you know, and, and you know, I just want to say thank you and I love you and God bless you to my subscribers. This is a personal message out to y'all. I really, truly love you guys. God bless you and may my videos, this ministry enlighten you all. May it build you up. You know, may it encourage you because I'm just like you saints. I'm fighting the good fight too. And, and God had gave me a word and he had told me that I had been wrestling, you know, that I had been wrestling like Jacob, how Jacob wrestled with that man. That man in the Bible was an angel. That angel was God. Okay. And that's in Matthew 32, 22 through 32, I believe. So check that out and read that, how Jacob had a thorn in his side, but he would not let that angel go. He wrestled with him, wrestled with him, wrestled with him. He said, it, you know, the angel finally was like, you know, I got to go. It's daybreak. I got to go. And Jacob told him, I, I'm, I will not let you go until you bless me. Bless me. I beseech you, Lord, bless me. Ask for your blessings. Ask for the Lord to deliver you guys. Ask, say, Lord, deliver me from all unrighteousness. Deliver me from all unrighteousness. So my, my name may be written in the kingdom of heaven because there is an angel with a tablet who is writing down all our events. Our whole life from the beginning to the end. And you can say all you want to a person was good. You might even shed a tear. I did for DMX just because I loved his spirit and his heart. Like, you know, it was, it was truly something about him. And I know that he was called. I know that he was called by God because he did not shun God. You know, one thing I could say about him, man. He loved the Lord, but he was tied up, y'all. He was tied up. He was tied up by the demons and the devils, all his witchcraft of the industry, all these witches and warlocks, all these years of abomination and desolation and, and, and rituals and all these things, these contracts, all of these things uh, verbally written and physically that he had to do on earth to keep that fame, power, and money from the industry just to stay afloat to live he didn't even want to be in the industry no more remember that it's like they blackballed him you know that why did he die before he put his album out see how they won't even let you do nothing that's how they did michael jackson with sony clyde barker the devil the, the warlock see how he as soon as he mentioned his name on that stage like kanye they took his butt out they took him out michael jackson y'all all right. Make it to light. Please make it all right. And ain't nobody but you taking my life. Because I know not many do make it through the fight. But there's still are many who walk with your grace. Because I know a plenty who walk with your face. In their minds and their hearts with the word on their lips. But still straight from the herd. I'm sure you've heard how it gets. Because the word is a gift that'll break any yoke, strong, hold a bond down to a third of its strength. When you're free in the name of Jesus, you're free indeed. All you need is faith and size, but must deceive. All things are possible through Christ who strengthens me. It's my destiny to be the best. I can be to give you the best.